Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Magna and Sabic, and by Borg Warner, Bose, ETAS, and Gentex. Gabe Sullivan is the marketing leader for batteries and electrical at Sabic. And Dave, I know one of the things you wanted to talk about is this project called Blue Hero. Yeah. What's that about? Yeah, actually, uh, June of, of, um, of 2022, we launched a new brand name called Blue Hero. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a public promise from us that encompasses everything that we're trying to do in the electrification space. So um, we've assembled a team of over 30 people who are working on, on this. We have a, a group of materials for, specifically designed for battery packs um, and the challenges inside that environment. And um, you know, we're really, what it is, it's a, it's a public promise that we are committed to this space. Um, we've make, we're making significant investments in there. We're actually um, one of the lead sponsors for Formula E now, and Blue Hero is part of that. Um, so it's, it's a really exciting time for us. And, uh, uh, but Blue Hero, I wanna show you a little bit about, you know, what really, what is that part of that when we talk about materials? Because we are a material supplier, so. Um, well, show me, you yeah, brought yeah. some cool things I brought a couple here. things to show you. So, so as I, when I say we're a material supplier, we don't actually make any parts, we make. So I don't um, know if the camera can see it. These are like little bitty yeah. pieces of plastic, yeah, right? Yeah, so this is, a 15, this is a 15 millimeter pellet that is um, polypropylene with a flame retardant that's coated in, there's glass in the middle, strands of glass. So we, it's like a wire coating process and we, we coat um, these the strands of glass with so plastic. So you said poly polypropylene. Yep. So very inexpensive plastic. Yes. One of the least uh, costly plastics Correct. out there. Correct. But you got a flame retardant and glass in there. The glass is what? For strength? Yep. So it, 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 it adds some dimensional strength in there um, so you can, you know, it doesn't fall apart um, or melt away. So, um, you know, and the other great thing about glass is you think about what you insulate your house with and it's fiberglass. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So. Um, when you think about, you know, the weather getting colder and, you know, people are complaining about their EVs range, you know, think about if you had you use this material in a battery pack or a module, you could really have some great insulating capabilities as well. But, you know, one of the really cool things about this material is the flame retardant capability. Um, you know, most people, if you were to take like a piece of, the, of your bumper, it's made of polypropylene, it's, it's going to melt if you right. exposed it to heat. Yeah. Um, so we've developed this um, material that does not melt, and it's pretty cool. And, so, and you've got some, uh, so, yeah. some ways to prove it here. Okay. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a piece of aluminum that we put on a... Let's, um, let's show, hold that up to the camera, yeah. because then you can see there's yeah. a hole that goes right through so the middle of it. We, we, uh, we put this in front of a torch, and this is basically the same thickness that you would find in a lot of battery packs today for the cover. So if you can imagine this as the cover, um, and you had high heat from a battery, you know, thermal runaway, it would melt right through that cover pretty quickly mm -hmm. within less than a minute. So, we, you know, that's not a, that's not a, it doesn't really give you much that's confidence. That's not what I want on my battery pack. Right, right. So uh, at Sabic, uh, our scientists came up with um, this polypropylene solution that, uh, so we did the same, same torch test. So let's hold that up too because... Yeah. I so, mean, you can tell this thing's badly charred. Yes, yeah, so this but a, it didn't burn through. No, and it's 1,100 degrees Celsius uh, for five minutes and did not burn a hole through it. That, that's what um, Fahrenheit for. Um, it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but uh, you know, the thing that really makes this unique, and you can see this is not no longer a flat piece of plastic. Right. It has this intumescent property, which. Um, What's that mean, intermescent? So it, it's like this foaming capability. So around gotcha. 250 C, this material starts to foam up and protect itself like a turtle shell mm -hmm. over it. Um, and, and it's still hard. I mean, yes. it, it's not like weak or anything. No, like no. And, and this is this is what, um, you know, really can protect, you know, compared to this, uh, you know, no hole, no nothing. And there's a lot of other things that happen inside a battery pack. So we just did a heat test on this one. It was you know, and, and it was very promising. So back in, um, uh, let's see, back in early 2021, um, Hyundai and um, Underwriters Laboratories in Chicago developed a test um, where you take a steel box and you put 25 18650 cells in the steel box and there's a hole on the side that controls how much pressure comes out. So think about like 
Uh, if you're watching a movie being filmed and you see, you know, the, um, they have an explosion and all the windows blow out, yeah. that pressure that comes out of that bomb, it's the same thing. Basically, we cre they create a bomb and they overheat two of the cells. So this is called um, UL2596. It's so a thermal runaway. It's a thermal runaway test and they, um, all of the cells in the box will go in. And what they do is they, you put this material or whatever material you want to screen on top of the box and you bolt it down. And then um, as long as it does not perforate or have a hole through it um, due to the pressure or the amount of metal and other things flying out of the cells or the heat, then you pass. So, um, so we did this with our Staymax, and what this is is uh, Staymax is one of your so, brand yeah, names. Yep. Uh, so Staymax is this little pellet that you that I showed with you the here. glass. Yep, and, with the glass in it. Yep. So it's a long glass polypropylene. So, and um, what you end up getting is this is the bottom side of that test, and this is um, it's charred, of course, right. but it did not melt, mm -hmm. and there's no hole through it. So. So it withstood all the pressure, yeah. not just the heat. Yeah, exactly. So that's a, and not just the pressure, but all of the metal that comes flying out of the vents. That, so those, uh, those 18650 cells are vented towards, vented up at this, and it blasts it with all kinds of microscopic metal, and it survived. So I was, it's super interesting technology. And, you know, you look at some of the battery packs that are out there today, and they've got like thermal blankets and mica sheets and all this other cost. And the only thing, that those doers help with thermal runaway, which is very rare. It's a very rare thing to have happen, but there's really no value for the OEM to put all of that in there. So if you can use this as part of the structure, like in a cover or a battery module casing, um, then you don't need all of those other band-aids, if you will, um, inside the battery pack. So you've got a pretty compelling argument to make battery packs out of this. Mm -hmm. Because you got a cost advantage, yep, and uh, you can probably mold this to any shape that you want yeah, to go so, under a car. So that's a, you know the great thing too about you know injection molding is that you can you can mold in all kinds of functionality. I mean geometry is free with this, so you can you can put in all kinds of things that you would normally have to either weld in or use a fastener to to add in uh, you know some sort of capability. So. It's a really, it's a really fun time. Um, you know, you think about the history of things like, you know, we had steel bumpers, now we have plastic bumpers, we had glass headlights, now we have plastic headlights. Uh, eventually, battery packs will also go from metal to to plastic. Um, you know, and I would say there's a lot of benefit to to being able to move in that direction with this material. Yeah, and when you say plastic, you know, people think plastic cheap. This is highly engineered uh, plastic. Yeah, this is not, um, you, know, you know. From some cheap toy. No, or no, this is not, uh, <laughs> this is not Barbie uh, plastic. This is, this is some very highly engineered material, but, um, you know, brings a lot of benefit in terms of light weighting, insulation, uh, flame retardant capabilities. So, and that's, you know, it's great. It's a great time to be, to be in this industry and talking about this and we're having a lot of fun with this material too so blowing a lot of things up so so dave thanks for coming in and yeah. especially for bringing some show and tell things yeah thanks a lot john i appreciate it